Hello, I'm here. It's two o'clock on Friday the 17th of May. I don't know where this year is going already, 17th of May. Anyway, I'll hang around for a bit before I start telling you what I'm going to be doing today, just while we await people arriving. And I will just set up my laptop so I can read the comments. Because hopefully by now, we've got the live, there it is. So if I go to that one, there's the comments. That's how easy it is. I'm actually getting used to it now. So hello, Kay. How are you, love? Are you okay? Hope everything's going all right in your world. So we'll just wait for a few more people to arrive because I have got some sneaky peekery going on. Um, and I will just reiterate that I have got the boss's permission on this one for a change. I know, because usually... Um, I can be quite naughty <laughs> and uh, tell every stuff that I'm not supposed to be telling. But actually, yeah, Linda's given me permission to show you all of this just to whet your appetites. Um, and you are going to love it. Uh, I absolutely love this one. I think this one is my favourite one so far. Jackie's here. Hello, Jackie. If you are watching, please do drop me a comment and give me a little wave just so I know that you're here and I can welcome you. Um, oh. I'm going to kick the bucket then. I don't want to do that, do I? Um, so we've got Jackie and Wendy. Hi, your love. And Caroline. Um, Crafty Witches. That's our Kevin. He's saying, hey, up last. Thank you very much. Um, Kay's saying, fine, Hills. Thank uh, You're looking good. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Um, hiya, Sharon. Are you all right, love? I hope you're okay. Um, for some reason, comments aren't coming up on my phone. So... If you keep if you keep seeing me look away, it's uh, it's me checking the comments, which is on the laptop, which is just there. Uh, I'm not being rude for a change. <laughs> OK, so how many have we got? We've got a few more people that I know said that they were going to turn up and they're not here yet. So but I'm going to crack on anyway, because I have got so much to show you. Seriously, you are going to love these. So book of spells. And this is the summer 2024, um, what's the word, edition. There you go. It's going to be one of those days. <laughs> I've literally, this morning, I've been playing. And you know what, what, what's it Linda says, gets lost in the doing. Well, that's what I've done this morning. And then uh, about 10 minutes ago, I thought, I'm not out to eat. So I've literally just gone and rammed a Marmite sandwich in. So I do love a Marmite sandwich. So are you Pauline? Are you all right? And hello, Jennifer. Long time no see. Hope you're okay, love. Um, right. So Book of Spells Summer 2024, as usual, is exclusive to Hobby Maker. So you're not going to be able to get this anywhere else. This collection is only going to be on Hobby Maker. However, as always, any of you who are cover members, do keep your eyes peeled because... There's always a little something that the Crafty Witches do for cover members. So I'm going to start off, without further ado, with the first collection. Now this one is called A Festival of Flowers. And you will notice that I've actually, I've been good, I've been recycling. This is from last week, if you remember. Um, and I've only printed it onto 160 GSM, so I thought... Instead of wasting paper, I'm just going to print on to the side. So that's what I've done. So if those of you who've got eye spying, you'll notice that there's something on the back. That is why. Um, I do it all the time, actually. Right, so a festival of flowers is your first one. What I've done is instead of printing out the, the entire collections, because there's 68 pages in each of the three collections, plus you've got your inserts and your toppers, that would just be way too much to print out. So so you can get a little idea of what everything looks like. I've printed out the toppers for you. So that's often the best way, isn't it? So here is the first one. 
and again what Becky always does is she takes the artwork and she just gives it that little magical kiss and turns it into something even more beautiful so you've got like a concept card here and then next you've got your square toppers I'm going to try and hold that as square as possible so you can see it you've got sentiments on there but just look at the flowers in there it's like a proper summer meadow you can almost hear those bees buzzing and then another one of the beautiful concept cards is this one so it's like an octagonal star isn't it then you've got this one and again you've got all the little extras I love the fact that when you've got a topper sheet, you've also got extra embellishments on there as well. And then, I've oh, got two stuck together, there we go. Next, you've got this one. These are my go-tos. If I want a quick, easy card, these are the go-to cards that I do because they're really, really easy. Print them out two or three times and you can actually start to build them up and add some layers to them. I've put a few samples together as well so you can see what I've been up to. Then you've got more square toppers with your extra sentiments on there. And then you've got your circle toppers. And don't forget, those of you who've got the um, nesting dies that we used to do in a previous life, they are made to fit these perfectly. I think most nesting dies are all going to fit pretty much well anyway. And then finally, you've got this beauty with that gorgeous six pointed star. And you've also got that lovely hexagon at the bottom as well. So again, more concept cards. Ideal if you wanted to print them three or four times and then layer them up with a bit of 3D foam. So that is the first collection or an idea of it. Don't forget, you've got 68 pages in each one included are uh, your inserts in different sizes the usual sizes that we do you've also got essential papers in a4 and 12 by 12 you've got decorative papers in a4 and 12 by 12 so we're doing the 12 by 12s because if there are any of you out there that have got a3 printers perfect you can start printing 12 by 12s and even a3 printer i think <laughs> would go large so let me just catch up on more of the comments. Ian's here. Hello, Ian. Hope you're okay, love. Um, I know. <laughs> I know something. Yes, I do. I know what the special is on Sunday. <laughs> um, and I know that Ian's working on it at the moment as well. So and it is lovely. You are going to love it. Um, oh, and very remiss of me to forget. If you've just received the newsletter, you've not read it yet. Have a quick look on the website because there's a 25% off all digital product, products on the Crafty Witches website until midnight on the 18th. So you've got to be quick if you want to grab yourself a Crafty Bargain. Um, I've put the details up there so it's literally click a link. Um, and I think I've forgotten to put the code in. The code is FabFry25, but it'll be on your newsletter anyway. <coughs> right so next one is summer garden so again i've just printed out the toppers for you to have a quick look at this one i absolutely adore this is i think this is going to be one of my favorites it's going to be one of my go-to's because you've got those really cool flowers and you've also got bird houses and i love a bird house i do so the colors on here are beautiful as well You've also got the little cottages, the very, um, very quirky style, these beautiful, soft, summery colours. Look at those gorgeous bird houses. You've got the butterflies, you've got the little bluebirds. So those are your circle toppers. Then you've got your squares. They're just fabulous, these are. And then this one I especially love. I love that background paper. That would look gorgeous as fabric. She says, drop in massive hints. And then we've got this one, which are more square toppers. And of course, you've got that beautiful cottage there as well. Or could it be a barn conversion even? Then you've got your gorgeous card there. Look at that one. And that is just so simple. All you need to do is cut it out and stick it on the front of an 8x8 card, because that'll be about an 8x8 in size. 
And don't forget, because it's digital, you can resize them all as well if you want to. And then finally, you've got that lovely one. That um, It looks like a box top to me, that does. But then you've also got this one as well. So you've got that hexagonal card at the bottom. So I see Kevin has put that link on there. I'm not sure what that's for. And I'm not going to press it because then it'll take me away from what I'm doing. And then I'll get, I'll get all distracted, which is, it wouldn't be the first time, would it? <coughs> right. Next up. Do you remember fruit salads? I think they still do them. I think they were the round trees fruit salads those little chewy sweets and they were like an orange yellow and bright pink that is what we've got here this just reminds me it's a really juicy color palette and this one is called irresistible irises and this is the one that i think you're all going to go wow i think you're going to really love this one so again i've printed out just the toppers for you just to get give you an idea of what we're looking at but look at these colours, they are so lovely. Absolutely gorgeous. So those are your irises. So this is the third collection. And in here, again, 68 pages. And you've got tall rectangles there with the extra sentiments. You've also got extra little butterflies on there as well. So you can cut them out, turn them into embellishments. Then you've got your star. How many points is on this or sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, fifteen-sixteen, seventeen-eighteen, nineteen-twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, but I don't know what 16 sides are, but we'll just call it a one, two, three, four. We'll call it an eight pointed star. <laughs> Hiya, Barbara. How are you, love? Hope you're keeping well. So again, it's so pretty. Absolutely beautiful is this collection. Look at those juicy colours. And you've also got those lovely peacock butterflies on there as well. And there we've got the squares. And then, ha <laughs> ha alphabets. So these are absolutely brilliant, these alphabets. Do you know what? Oh, that was my chair, by the way. I told you about my chair, didn't I? This lovely chair, we had two. Graham's got one, I've got one. Graham's lost its gas, so it wouldn't go up and down. So he swapped mine for his, so I've not got a chair that doesn't go up and down. And the reason being is that mine's on the lowest setting. And because apparently I'm short, I don't need to have a chair that goes up and down. He nicked it. Right. My old school ruler. Look, it's even got my old initials on it. Right, so they are roughly two and a half inches square or six centimetres. Six centimetres square. And you've got the full alphabet. Imagine this printed onto fabric. Kevin, I've just read your comment. That's very, very impertinent. You've also got an extra card design on there. And then, you know what I'm always saying about using your snapshot tool in Adobe? You just literally go, I'll, I'll talk you through it next week anyway, because I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, but you go into um, the edit button at the top and then you do the drop down menu to undo, redo, more. And then drop down from that, take a snapshot, and you'll get little crosshairs. So you drag your cursor around it until you've isolated the image that you want, and then click print. And it takes you to your print page with just that item in that size. 
Then if you click, you can either do custom scale, so you can put your own dimensions in, or click to fit, you then get an 8 by 8 inch. So let me show you. There's the original one there. So there's the original one and then the one to fit. I told you you're going to absolutely adore this collection. I can't wait to show it to you properly. On to telly and all that. Hello, Moya. How are you, love? I hope you're okay. Um, right, so, Kevin, don't you know all good things come in small packages? That is so true, Sharon. But also what Kevin is forgetting is that poison comes in little bottles. Um, Sharon's saying pretty. Uh, tutorial, anyone? A snapshot tool. Kevin, come on. I think he means snapshot tool. It's all right. Do you know what? You can have a little dig at me, but you're going to get it back. Uh, YouTube. Kevin's actually put a link on. So if you're thinking, what on earth is she waffling on about? But if you go onto our YouTube, there's actually a tutorial on there. How to use your snapshot tool. <laughs> it's going to fall out with me, isn't it? Hiya, Linda. How are you? Um, I've told them I've got your permission to show them this because I'm, I'm sneaky peeking. The, uh, the new book of spells. So, because it is very true. Sorry if you can hear a load of clattering outside. The dustbin men have just turned up. Right, so next. So I've shown you the three collections. So you've got, just to remind myself. <laughs> getting all confused. So we've got Festival of Flowers, which is that one. Then you've got Summer Garden, which is glorious. And then you've got those irresistible irises which are just like, um, they're just like fruit salads. They're so lush. And then next, you've got toppers. No, you haven't. You've got inserts. I'm going to show you the inserts next. Um, and as usual, what you're going to get are all the different card sizes that you can think of. So you've got 6x4, 5x7, A5, A4, 8x8, 6x6, 7x7, 5x7, and DL. You've also got them all in portrait and in landscape and you've got blanks as well. So what I've done is printed out one of each so you can actually have a proper look at them. So this one is the portrait 6x4. And if I hold that up, you can actually see what that looks like. So you've got the beautiful design around there, but you'll see the dark line. That's where you just need to cut. And then when you cut that out, that is your actual size. Either cut it down or fold it in half. And it's uh, all the sentiments are all summer related and they're so pretty. Summer, where the days are long, the nights are warm and every moment is ripe with the possibility of adventure. That takes me back to when I was a little one. And my grandma used to arrive probably about eight o'clock in the morning to look after us. And me and my mate and Leighton used to go out. And we go up the wood and then we come back for lunch and then we'll be off again and we come back tea time. It was those lovely warm summer days. That's what it reminds me of. Um, uh, Sharon's saying, Anya is saying hi, driving me mad. Is she woofing? Um, <coughs> Linda's saying, sorry she's late, she's busy printing the boards. Caroline's saying, my mum's neighbour's favourite saying, uh, they don't make diamonds as big as bricks. <laughs> I love that one. I'm going to remember that one. Uh, they will print the right way round. Lol, Hell's camera is making them look back to front. Sorry, who's, has somebody picked up on that? Yeah, it's because I've got my forward-facing camera on. So it, everything looks back to front. But it, seriously, it's not going to print back to front. You know that. Next up, 6x4 Landscape. There's that one, and this one says, like a sunflower turns its face to the sun, so too does summer beckon us to embrace its warmth and light. Next, we've got 5x7 in portrait, and this one says, summertime is always the best of what might be, and that's by Charles Bowden. And then we've got 5x7 in the landscape. One must maintain a little bit of summer even in the middle of winter, and that's Henry David Theroux. But you'll see those beautiful little flowers as well. Now, 
top tip if you wanted to you could print this on draft so you're still going to get the sentiments and everything but it's going to bleach out that color so you could add your own color in if you didn't want it pink right next up six by six summer is a state of mind a feeling of freedom and a celebration of life's simple pleasures and don't forget i'm just reading out each one of the sentiments you are actually getting these on all of them so it's not just the six by six has got that one the six by six has got all ten so there are ten different sentiments in total seven by seven next like a seashell holds the echoes of the ocean so too does summer hold the whispers of dreams yet to unfold. And that's another one that's unknown. So nice. Summer has a flavour like no other. Always fresh and simmered in sunshine. Oh, we're in for a set that. This is your 8x8. Eight eight. Hmm, what flavour would summer be? I don't know, actually. Something florally. Like rose Turkish delight. Right, A4 portrait. In the heat of summer you may find cool shade in the sorry, I'll start that again because I did that wrong. I can't read. I'd never be a newsreader, would I? In the heat of summer, may you find cool shade. In the chaos, may you find peace. And in the beauty of nature, may you find solace. How beautiful is that? So that's your A4 portrait. And then you've got your A4 landscape. So this is another one of the sentiments. Everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. And that was Jenny Han that said that. And I totally agree because I was born in June. So obviously magic was afoot. Next, we've got A5 portrait. Um, the summer sun sings a song of joy, painting the world in hues of gold and filling our hearts with warmth. And again, that's another unknown author. And then we've got the A5 in the landscape. And then you've got the DL in the landscape. I'm, I'm not going to bother reading these out again because I've read them all. This is the last one. Summer where the days are long and the nights are warm and every moment is ripe with the possibility of adventure. I think that was the first one that I read you. So there's your DL. You've also got your blanks. So what I've done is printed out a, a blank one for DL and then I've made a little memo to myself just to remind you all that all sizes and orientations have the blank ones. So if you wanted to add your own sentiment in there, if you've got stamps, if you've got, you know those peel-off sticker ones that are um, the clear and you can burnish them on, they've got really cool on something like that as well. So loads of ideas there for you. So those are the inserts. <coughs> Excuse me. Eight different sizes, two orientations of each and all the blanks for each of the sizes. Right. And finally, you've got your six by six and your A6 toppers. Now, there are a lot of these, so I haven't printed them all out. But what I have done is printed a few just to show you what you're going to get. So the first one is this. This is just, this looks like Tez, my in-law's dog. Look. It's like Tez on a picnic. It's just the cutest. And that's your six by six size. And what I've done is I've then printed six by six to fit. So when you go into Adobe, instead of just doing your custom size, go to fit. And it will actually print to eight by eight. So that's another one of them. So there's a little picnic and the themes of these are all picnics um, and summertime and there's some uh, butterfly ones in there and there's some boats in there. Really lovely, beautiful watercolour effects and Becky's designed all of these as well. So these are all your A6. Look at that basket of apples. Oh, that makes my mouth water, that does. And then... With the A6, the cool thing about that is when you print to fit, it jumps up to an A4 size. So this is another one of those. Um, there are a few stylized ladies there, all watercolour style. That one's got a nice hat and reading a book. I think that she's probably sitting on Hampstead Heath. 
in a glorious frock. You see, if that were me, I'd probably, I would have sat in something because I can always find it and I can always find the thistle or the nettle to sit on. Um, do you know, I'm not dainty. I always have tried to be, but it just it doesn't happen. Some people are like, some people are really graceful, aren't they? And I'm just not. <laughs> My dad used to call me fairy elephant. I think it was a term of endearment. Right, next up, let's have a look. Um, do, do, do. Charlotte's so very pretty. Strawberry, oh yeah, berry flavour. Fla what summer tastes like? Uh, mango and coconut. I could go pineapple and coconut, Ian. Mix them up together and what you get? Mm -hmm. Pina colada. Right, so I made a few samples. Uh, this is a five by five. And that one is a festival of flowers. And I've kept this really simple because the artwork is so stunning. There's some patterned paper, one of the little square toppers, sentiment. And then just scored it just so it looks pretty. Added a few gems. And then in the middle is the 5x5 five five insert. They always come in handy because you've got all the different sizes of inserts as well just to tie it all together. Then remember what I was saying about the my go-to card for a quick card. This is printed twice. So this is all flat, but you can print it more times if you wanted to. And you can actually start to really lift it up. But that's on some 3D foam. And again, there is the 6x6 six six insert in the centre. Next, we have got Summer Garden. I absolutely love this collection. I keep saying that, don't I? I'm getting boring. But I love this collection so much. Look how beautiful that is. I love the colours. It's got that lovely soft effect to it. But it's nice and juicy and then what I've done here is this is one of the circle toppers I've used my nesties with some solid paper behind I've printed it a couple of times cut it out and laid it up and then this bit along the bottom that's actually an insert so it's one of the inserts that's got the decorative patch on it so I've cut that out and then from some of the other circle toppers added some flowers on just so it's got like a little floral border and then that is one of the inserts that I've cut to size and just left it blank. And I've added the little B because he's actually on the circle bit that I've cut off. And then next up, we've got the fruit salads. So this is the Irresistible Iris. This is just one of those simple squares printed twice, cut out and layered up. And then I've added in the solids. Look at these colours. They're just so pretty. And again, I've added a little bit of glue gel underneath there just to keep his wings elevated. And that one was the Irresistible Iris. And then what I've done, just so I can show you them all together, I've done the inserts and the toppers together. So to start off with, this is one of the inserts, one of the toppers, and I've actually cut the insert down. So I've literally just got the sentiment. I haven't got any of the border. And that's what that looks like. That's one of the A6. Made the card a bit bigger. And then I've added some scoring into it. I'd like to say that that would be me and my dogs, if I had a dogs, um, on a picnic. But like I said, I, I wouldn't be that neat and tidy. I'd be covered in jam. And then the last one that I'm going to show you is this one. Um, this is another one of the A6 toppers. And what I've done with the insert is I've chosen the DL insert, but then I've, I've used the snapshot tool and isolated it and then reduced it to 90%. So I've brought the size down a little bit just so it says everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. Um, I'm going to send that to my dad just to remind him. Hmm? Just in case he forgets, because you never know. Right, so, <coughs> excuse me, just to recap, let me pop those there. Um, special offer on the website at the moment, 25% uh, off. Don't forget, if you are in the Coven Club, then that's going to jump up to 50% off, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, Kevin has put a link on 
feedback in the comments so scroll back through the comments but i've put a link to the website on the newsletter there's also all the information there as well so um i think it's fab fry 25 is your code so all digital items on the crafty witches website will have 25 percent off when you put that code in so what you're waiting for don't go yet because i'm going to do some demos but do once we've finished and fill your boots because the offer is only on until midnight on the 18th um so book of spells will be exclusive to hobby maker as they always are five separate collections so you've got three full paper collections those that what i've just shown you uh 68 pages in each including toppers inserts in different sizes you've got solid colors essential papers in a4 and 12 by 12 you've also got um decorative papers in a4 and 12 by 12 you've got your poetry toppers you've got all your little elements in there sentiments tags borders flowers leaves all of that that you would come to expect so those are the three collections then you've got your toppers in a6 and in six by six and then you've got your inserts which you've got 10 different summer sayings in eight different card sizes with two orientations of each and the blanks i think i've remembered everything <laughs> if i haven't i do apologize but I think that's everything. Right. So, yeah, Linda, she's just saying we've got something a bit different on Sunday. We have. Ian's just working on it. We've just been sent it through. It is so cool. You are going to absolutely love it. I love it. I think it's brilliant. And it is something completely different. So I think you're all going to be really excited when you see that. But I am absolutely not going to tell you what it is because if I do... I will be in trouble. Right, so she's Linda saying not selling the five collections separately going forward. Yeah, so the the book of spells is exclusive to Hobby Maker. There we go. Right, so shall we do a demo? I think it might be demo time. What time is it now? It's half past two already. I've been sitting here waffling at you for half an hour. Um, let me see if I've missed any comments. I'm just gonna scroll back. There we go. I think I've caught up on them. And I see that Moya's here. She's watching Hello Love and Barbara's here as well. So let me just have a look and tidy up. We'll move these out of the way. Pop that one there. And then I've got a couple of demos for you. So we'll start off with this one. Now, remember, I'm... Oh, I'm just going to wobbly then. It was like someone had dropped one of Linda's bricks on the table where we shook there. What I'm going to do is swizzle you around so you're actually facing down onto um, where I'm going to show you the demo. So don't get giddy, shut your eyes, and then <laughs> we'll be back to making sure that you know what you're looking at. Right, let's straighten you up, and I'm going to bring you down so you're nice and close. And don't forget, everything is going to be reversed because this is my forward-facing camera okay right so you know sometimes when your brain just goes wibble and you think that you're doing something and then you do it completely wrong well that happened to me this morning i mean it happens to me most days truth be told but i thought i know i'll make a card size so i filled up my card and everything to make my card blank and then I realised that I'd actually cut out two bits of card. So if that happens, just score a line down the back and add a bit of glue. And then you can fold it so your crease isn't going to be at the top, but you've actually got a perfectly serviceable card base. I'm going to lift you up a bit because we've got a bit of extra width on this one. So I'm just going to press that down so it's nice and straight. Okay. <coughs> Bear with while I have a quick slurp. Here we go, I'm back again. Right then, so this is that gorgeous summer garden. Look at that yellow. That's the proper summery colour, isn't it? So this is one of the solid colours. And this is... I wrote, did I write it on the back? I did, just to remind myself. This is four and a half inches by eight and a half inches, the size of this card that I've made oh and you might be wondering why I'm wearing a plaster um yep 
I got left alone with sharp stuff. So what it is, my paper trimmer has got that little blade. And for some reason, I decided this morning to pick up the paper trimmer. I'll show you. And then you can all go, ooh, you stupid. I picked the paper trimmer up like that and the blade was here. Of course, I've picked it up and swung it around. So I've actually lacerated my finger. And as I did it, the doorbell went. It was my neighbour. So I'd got blood dripping. I mean, I was practically hemorrhaging. All right, it was, it was oozing a little bit. So I've had to put a plaster on because um, you don't want to see what it looks like. And it won't stop bleeding either because it is quite deep. It's like the depth of the, the whole pointy bit of the blade. Uh, would you be interested in packs of matte gold and silver card? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I love matte. Yes, I do. Anything that's got matte colour to it or a matte finish, should I say. I prefer to mirror. Yeah, so that's a yes from me, Linda. I don't know if any of our other viewers would like that, but I certainly do. I love a bit, bit of satin or a bit of matte. So it's a yes from me. Right, so I've now got some white card. Now, don't forget, if you are being frugal, gut out the centre of your yellow card. Next, I've got that. Do you remember me showing you that when I showed you the toppers? This is that lovely. It's like one of the concept cards. It was on the same page as the, I'll show you in a bit. It's on the same page as that massive star. The multi-sided one that I don't know the name of. So I'm just, I'm adding glue down here. I don't know if you can see me. I'm just having the wiggle of glue. If you can hear a bell ringing, tinkling it's my eric he's he's being a div he's trying to get my attention he's out on the landing normally he comes in and shows his bottom but thankfully he hasn't done today no doubt he'll be wanting some kind of attention at some point right so now i've got that on there i've got some 3d foam because what i've done is i've gone in and i've cut out these bits to lift them up and raise them up so I've done that on both sides this is just so adorable so what I'm going to do is add just a couple of little snips of 3d foam to the back a bit there and a little bit there and then a bit down there and I think this is printed I think this is 200 GSM that I've printed onto I can't remember and then we can just I'm going to stand up again so I can see what I'm doing I'm going to just layer that on there and then I've got this side I'll do the same again and add that little bit so we'll add the 3d foam there and there and then i've got a strip that can go down the edge this would look gorgeous it's just suddenly dawned on me if you cut out this bit and so you've got the frame Put some acetate behind it and then some little um, bedazzles or some sparkles and make a little shaker card. That would look really, really pretty. But what I've done is I've kept it really simple. So I've cut that out. So I've printed this three times. So this one, you could go in and cut around there if you wanted to. But I've kept it as is. And then I've also cut out one of the little sentiments. Now, I've snipped it off at the edges, but I've kept just that little band there, just so it's got a little bit of something behind it. But we'll get some more 3D foam. Uh, Sharon's saying yes, please, to the card. Ah, thank you, Caroline. She's saying a 16-sided shape is a hexadecagon. Well, of course it is. That's... 
that's obvious, isn't it? A hex because a hexagon is six and a decagon is ten. Why didn't I think of that? You see, then I could have said, Oh, it's a hexadecagon, and I could have wowed you all, and you were all, Oh, she's clever. Right, I'll stick that one on there, so that's the centerpiece. And then, I'll get some more, oh, I've done all my 3D film, I'll put it in the third place, there it is. I'm going to get some more 3D film. There we go. I'm going to add some to this centre part. There we go. And then that can go like so. And then this one, there's that lovely little sentiment. I'm thinking that that's just going to sit there and that's going to be really pretty. But again, I want to lift that up a little bit. So I've got a bit more 3D foam. I'll peel that off. And then just pop that around about there. And then, there's my gems then, there they are. So I've got some little gems here, which I'm just going to add. Bring that down a little bit so you can see it a bit more clearly. And remember what I do, because although these have got sticky backs on them, these little gems, invariably they go ping because the sticky is not as sticky as... I like sticky to be, so I add little dots of glue where I want the gems to go, and then I know that whoever is the recipient is actually going to receive this with the gems exactly where I want them to be. So that's my uh, my top tip. That is always use that little bit of extra glue, especially on something that says it's sticky because you know you know it's not going to be sticky by the time it goes through the postal system right i'm going to pop that one on there and then i've got that one and then that one so just a few little gems just to add that little bit of sparkle just in there and then I'm going to pop a few little dots of glue like so. And I have got these teeny tiny gems. They're like a, probably about two millimetres wide, if that. And I pop those on there. They're so tiny. And then, because obviously you can go as overkill as you want with this because it's your creation, but I think sometimes more is more. And I want a little bit of sparkle. So I've got my stickles. And I'm just going to add some stickles onto my butterfly. Like so, and then just a little bit onto my flowers. Got another little bit there, and then a bit there. Little bit of summer sparkle, and there we have a summer garden. And this is one of the concept cards. Am I going the wrong way? I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> You'd have thought after all these years I'd know which way is which, but I always get it wrong. Um, <laughs> Kevin saying a hexadecagon is a dinosaur. Uh, sounds like it, or do you mean, uh, do you think you saw us? Is that the one-eyed dinosaur? Hello, Marie. How's your travels? I hope you're getting on all right. I hope the traffic's not too bad. Hello, Sharon. 
Um, and who else is here? I just saw somebody else had commented. Ah, Lisa's here. Hello, darling. Are you all right? Hope you're okay. Right, so this is a summer garden from the brand new book Spells, which will be launching on the 23rd. Show times are 2pm and 4pm. Um, and this will be exclusive to Hobby Maker. So the Book of Spells Summer 2024, exclusive to Hobby Maker. Um, you're gonna love it. I know you are. I've already I've already gone through everything and, and shown everybody what's in it. So if you've joined us late, then once the video's ended, then you can go back to the start and you can have a quick look. Just to save me repeating myself, because you'll be going, oh, she's going on again because i have got another demo that i'd like to show you so i'm going to move that one out of the way just bob that up there and bring in this um this is a seven by seven card and i remembered <laughs> to keep the fold on it on this one um and starting off with an insert so this is the festival of flowers collection um, let me move these bits and bobs out of the way and then we'll straighten up a bit. So I've got the insert. Now this insert is a 7x7 seven seven insert. So this is the cool thing about all of these collections. They're so comprehensive that you've got 6x4, 5x7, A5, 8x8, 7x7, 6x6. You've got all those different card sizes with all these inserts. So whereas when we used to do paper kits, it was just A4 and literally you had to either fold it in half or chop it down and then you had to measure it to make sure it was bobby in the middle. Now that's all done for you. Um, and we've got that opportunity to do that because obviously everything is digital. If we did this as printed, it would it would cost an absolute fortune to get all of these. So now I'm going to open up the card and remember when you when you're doing any kind of card with an insert, do the insert first. Because if you leave it till last, what you'll find will happen is you've just put some stickles on the front of your card and then you go to do the insert and you squidge it and you'll squidge the front of your card. So always do the inside first. And what I've done, you could stamp on there if you wanted to, but I've actually got one of the toppers, one of the square toppers, and I like that on there. So I'm going to bob that into the centre. You could cut it down if you wanted to. But I like the fact that it just fits there nicely. You could actually die cut it if you wanted to. You could die cut it with a circle. Because I know we've all got nesting dies, haven't we? We're all as bad as each other for collecting stash. So let's bob that one on there. And that's my insert done then. It's done and dusted. And then I can concentrate on the front of the card. So what I've got here is some of that lovely peachy orange solid colour so that's going to go on first and I'm just using a bit of wet glue but use some tape or whatever it is that you like to use to stick everything down there we go so I started off with um sorry I'm making that wobble I've just <laughs> I just caught that there we go yeah, I started off with 7x7 seven seven and then I've turned into centimetres because it's easier to measure in centimetres. Um, it's funny, isn't it? Fabric, everything's in inches. Paper, everything's in centimetres. Caroline's saying, that's the one, <laughs> the one on his dog. Do you think he saw us Rex? <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know what to say. It's like Gag Central today, isn't it? Right. Bit of white just to break it up and then look at that. The most stunning background paper. Absolutely love that. So I've added the white in there just to break it down a little bit. So I've gone from 17 to 16 and a half to 15 and a half. And get it the right way around. There we go. I want the butterflies in the right position. Even though they're going to be covered up, it doesn't matter. You've got to get it right, haven't you? 
There we go, so we'll press that one down. And then this is that lovely square design. And I've cut it out so I've left that white background so it doesn't need layering onto more white card. And then I've got some more of that lovely orange. And that is going to go on like that. So can you see how everything picks up beautifully together? This is the same paper, but it's just reduced in size. And then some more glue on the back of that just to hold it in place. There we go. Just budged it out of the way slightly. Right, next up, because I printed this twice, I've got the topper from the middle. But again, print this as many times as you want because you could be cutting these out, lifting them up. You could cut out the larger bit, then the middle bit, then the flowers. It's entirely up to you what you do. Look, I told you that I recycle. She's from the other day, but I wasn't going to use her, so I'm recycling. Waste not, want not. Right, so I've got one of my sentiments, which says, sending warm wishes. And I want that to be around about there. So just a little bit of wet glue along the top, just to pick that up. And then I can come in with some 3D forms. Because once this card's made, no one's going to know that you've got a summertime goddess on the back of it. makes it unique right let's get a bit more of the 3d form pop it there and a little bit there and we can peel that off here we go right let's add that in around about there and then what i've done is i've taken from another one of the topper sheets you've got these little extras so i've got the butterfly and i've got the buzzy bee so i've cut these out already and i'm just going to use the heat from my thumb and my finger just to curve his body so because he's going to be a big fat bumblebee and then curve his wings so he looks like he's flying like so and he's going to go out around about there and then of course i've got this lovely butterfly sorry i just i just caught the foam with my head i'm so clumsy i can't be trusted right and now i've got some glue gel which i'm going to add onto the back my buzzy bee and he can go hmm, where can he go I reckon he can just be flying up there like that and then I'm going to add some glue gel to the back of my butterfly like so and then just a tiny tiny little bit there just to hold it in place and my butterfly is going to be just having a little sniff at that flower and then, of course, because I can, I can add some sparkles. Right, where's that sparkly? So here, on the wings of the buzzy bee, I can add some sparkles. I need to get some more. This is um, uh, this is my go-to shtickles. <laughs> Look, it's nearly empty. It's a sorry state of affairs. Have I got? I've, I've got another one which is nearly empty as well. Let's have a little go on this one. There's a bit more in this one. This one is stardust. This is the one that I always use because the glitter in it is really sparkly, but it hasn't actually got much colour. 
so it can go over the top of anything and not actually change the colour of it. There's one that's an Aurora Borealis, which is absolutely beautiful, but that does change the colour of things. Speaking of which, I'm sure that you all saw the Aurora last week. So that's Friday. I can't believe it's the week already. I don't know where the time goes. Wasn't it amazing? The funny thing was that I couldn't actually see it properly. I could just see like lines in the sky. I couldn't actually see it completely until I took a photograph. And then had a look at the photos and it was just incredible. Right. The fact that it was as far south as where I am was bonkers. Anyway, so there you go. So that is the Festival of Flowers. Just going to pat this down now so it's not all lumpy. There we go. Add that little bit of sparkle through my butterfly and that is simply this which fits perfectly on a six by six but I wanted to add some more to it so I've upgraded it to a seven by seven I mean you could really go over the top you could use an eight by eight you could add in more white borders if you wanted to it's entirely up to you what you do with them because of course they're all digital so pretty much do anything you want and then this is the one that I've just made from the summer garden and then alternatively that is the other one of the festival of flowers kept that on a six by six and then a really quick and simple five by five so just one of those little toppers with the extra paper and then just to balance it i've just added some scoring on the inside of the card with that insert then of course we've got the summer garden again and this is a six by six and what I've done is cut it down at the back so I've added in the insert and then one of the circle toppers cut out with the nesties and then added this is actually from an insert this is one of the inserts and I've cut out the flowers and then cut out more flowers from more of the circle toppers because I printed out a couple of these just so I could 3D it, make it nice and dimensional. And then, of course, the Irresistible Iris. It's just so lush. The colours on this are adorable. Do you know, I love this so much, I might even send it to myself. <laughs> Have we got another Irresistible Iris? Or did I just, I can't remember. No, we've just got the one. And then we've got the inserts and the toppers together. So what I've done here with the insert is actually printed the insert out and then just gone and cut it out. You could cut it out with fancy dies if you wanted to. Made this one card slightly larger and then just scored into the edges. And there's me and my dog on Hampstead Heath with some Ribena. Um, and then the watercolour effects on here are absolutely delightful, aren't they? This is another one of the A6 toppers. Everything good, everything magical happens between the months of June and August. And that's so true because all the best babies are born in June, apparently. Um, I'm not quite sure what these are. I'm hoping that they're not peppers because, I, as you know, I loathe peppers. I'm thinking that they might be like wedges of watermelon or an apple or something but no no peppers no don't like peppers um and i want that to be a ginormous pie but it could be whatever you want it to be but that's like lake windermere isn't it it's just so pretty and simply adding a bit of colored card behind it so i'll leave those there for you to look at while i twizzle you around so i can actually look at you um, we've got some more comments here, so let me just go like that. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. Oh, oh, it's gone a bit wobbly. I don't want you falling over. There you go. Right, so let's have a little catch up on the comments. Um, Kevin's just reminding you that you've got the 25% discount, which is on the Crafty Witches website. All of the details are all up there, and that is until... 23 59 and 59 seconds on the 18th 
so you've got 24 hours plus nine you've got 33 hours to fill your boots 25 percent off all digital products on the crafty witches website uh, Lisa's saying Summer Garden is my favourite collection. It is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it, Lisa? Um, I love it. I just I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. The colours are fabulous. They're not too bright and garish, but they're colourful. Um, and you've got the little bird houses, which are just adorable. Uh, Caroline's saying three out of my four sisters' family have June birthdays. June is the best month, seriously, because it's equal distance away from Christmas. So when you're little. You get halfway through the year, you get presents. It's cool. Um, what have I missed there? I've missed a, a comment, something that Kevin said. I can't see it. It's not come up. He said because it's too orangey for crows. That was Kiora, wasn't it? I remember going to the pictures and there was the crows doing the, the dance. The Kiora, I think. I might have made that up <laughs> i don't know anyway just a very quick recap i'll show you how long have we got we've got a couple of minutes got a couple of minutes haven't we right so the hobby maker exclusive launching on the 23rd 2 p.m and 4 p.m with yours truly uh the book of spells summer 2024 with in the collections you have got the Festival of Flowers, which is this one. Really dainty, delicate, beautiful colours in there with your wildflowers and summer blooms. Next, you have got the Summer Garden, which both Lisa is one of our sample makers. She's so clever. She's our paper engineer, is Lisa. Um, we both think that this is our favourite. And that, that was the topper that I was on about that I made the card from. I just demoed. So that is Summer Garden. And then, of course, you've got the irresistible irises, which they are irresistible. Look at those colours. They're so fruity and juicy. Like tutti frutties. They don't make those anymore, do they? Tutti frutties. You still love a tutti frutti. Then also, as well as the three collections that have got 68 pages in each, you have also got all of the inserts. So there are 10 different summer phrases. And you've got 6x4, 5x7, A5, 6x6, 7x7, 8x8. DL and A4 in portrait and in landscape and you've also got blanks so if you wanted to fill them in yourself you can so those are the inserts and then you've also got your topper sets so in your topper sets they're all summer themed so like I've shown you um, you've got the picnic themes you've got picnic basket picnic table you've got the um, the landscapes with the boat on there You've got the glorious little ladies sitting there reading you looking all glamorous on Hampstead Heath. Whereas me, it'd be me sitting in a cow pat on Ilkley Moor with a magazine. Um, so a couple of ideas for your toppers. You've got the gorgeous little puppy dogs. And this one is print fit. So that's your six by six increased to the eight by eight. <coughs> Then you've got your A6 toppers, you've got, oh, look at those apples, they look so lush. But if you then choose and print fit, you can then have, look at her, she's so glamorous. Sitting there. I bet she doesn't drop her egg mayonnaise sandwich down her front when she's sitting having a picnic. Or get jam up her face. Such a classy bird. Right, so I've got a few more comments, so I'm just going to quickly go through there. Uh, Lisa's saying, I have my husband's 50th this month and my son's 18th at the end of the month. It's always been a busy... Oh, yeah, it's been a busy May, hasn't it? Especially with the big birthdays as well. Happy birthday to them both. Uh, boxes too, Linda's saying. <coughs> I haven't told them about that. Not yet. We've also got some boxes on the shelf, so as well as the book of spells... We have got, remember a couple of weeks ago I showed you Sharon the Cat's br brilliant jewel box. I've actually got one here. Ta -da. So in SVG and print and cut, these are these fabulous boxes. These are also on the show. And we've also got the tall pop-up box as well. They're on the show as well. I love those. I think that's so cute. And these print and cuts, I actually hand cut all of those. 
hop on YouTube, you'll see the video. You'll see me hand cutting. I'm just going to... Oh, there, we nearly had an issue then with the paper trimmer. Seriously, it's got it in for me today. Uh, Sharon says she's 30 years married on the 4th. Wow. Congratulations. Medals should be awarded. 30th, is, is that Pearl? I think it's Pearl, isn't it? I've been, how long have I been married? 22 years in June. 22 years. Bless him. He really does deserve a medal putting up with me. Um, what other comments have I got? Uh, Caroline's saying, when number two son was 18 months old, we got him jam donut in a cafe. He was soon covered in sugar and jam. That's the best way, isn't it? Um, Kevin's saying, how on earth has she put up with me for that long? <laughs> I'm I'm saying nothing. Zipped. It's because she's so clever, Kevin. <coughs> Our Kevin is really clever. He's very technical. He's helped me out of a few sticky situations, haven't you, Kevin, when I've gone, oh, what have I done? I've deleted it. I've broken it. Um, but, of course, because it's digital, you can't break it, which is even better. Um, I think it's just that, to start off with, I was really unsure of what I was doing um, and doubted myself because it was quite straightforward. And I thought, shouldn't it be more complicated than this? But actually, it doesn't need to be more complicated. Um Medal for Kevin, says Linda. And Sharon's saying, oh my God, Linda, if only you knew. <laughs> Kevin's saying the terrapins. Yeah, my terrapin. My little terrapin is here. And everyone says, what is a terrapin? It's actually, I called it a terrapin because I was on air with Zena, I think it was. Um, and we were talking about storage for all the digital files. Because obviously they take up a bit of room. Um, where can you put them? Because you don't need a computer for this. You could put it on your phone, on Chromebook, laptop, wherever you want. Um, and I said, oh, I've got a Terrapin. Which is what Graham bought me. And it's actually an external hard drive. But because it's a terabyte, and because I'm a little bit daft, I thought it was a Terrapin. So now it is just called the Terrapin. I remember when we were at school, we had terrapins. We kept terrapins at school and they absolutely stunk. Really, really cute, but very, very smelly. Has anyone else kept terrapins? Do you have a terrapin? An actual real live one? Apparently, there's a park in Wellingborough that's got a pond that has actual terrapins living in it because I've seen people taking pictures of them. I've yet to find where this park is because, as you know, I've only lived here 14 years, so give me a chance to get around and... Have a look at stuff. It's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, um, I've gone over, as usual, with my waffling. So I am going to get off now. Now, on Tuesday, I will be back at 7 o'clock. Um, it's brilliant, Tuesday. You're going to love it. We've got a very, very special deal for you. Um, but don't forget, speaking of special deals, 25% off digital products on the Crafty Witches website. So head on over there once I've shut up. Uh, Kevin's saying one terabyte is storage is a million two hundred and thirty eight terrapins. That's a very lot of terrapins. Blimey, where would you put them all? Uh, we had a huge one as a child and never smelled. What, a terrapin? Mm. You see, a friend of mine has got two tortoises. She's got massive tortoise, which has got a really beautiful ornate shell. And then she's got a smaller tortoise. And apparently tortoises only poop every week or so. And I just happened to be there the day that it chose to do the poop and it was massive. Um, here you go. <laughs> Caroline said, thanks, hells and all. Yeah, thank you everybody for joining me. It's been great to see you. This video will stay on Facebook for 30 days, but Kevin will be popping it onto YouTube as well. So if you do want to go back and watch again, or if you didn't see it to start off with, to see everything that I've gone through, then you can watch it again. Sharon's saying, yes, massive snapping terrapin, only smelt if it wasn't cleaned out. That's probably what was the problem with the school ones, because there were a lot of school children supposed to be looking after them. Anyway, on that delightful image, I shall bid you good day, have a fabulous weekend, and I will be back here at 7pm on Tuesday. See you later. Hello, I'm here.